What instrument have you been listening to the most during quarantine? Have you been raging out with drums? Have you been dancing it out with synth? Uh, well, we'll tell you what it seems like most people are listening to during the pandemic. It is Tuesday, it's May 19th, and this is The Current Music News. Hey, it's Jade. And I'm Jay. As Rolling Stone puts it, quote, the sound of the coronavirus quarantine is an acoustic guitar. That's not just because acoustic guitars are relatively easy to whip out for a live stream concert, it's because listeners are increasingly turning to Americana, acoustic music as they're sheltering in place. Music streaming overall is still down after a couple of months of lockdown, and those big dips are driven mostly by the kind of genres that rely on new releases, the kind of stuff you'd put on at a party. So Top 40 is way down, hip hop is down. Interestingly, country artists are also pushing back the big releases for the most part, like pop artists are, but country music streaming overall is up, along with Roots, bluegrass, singer-songwriter classics. That means Bob Dylan and Joan Baez are back in a big way. Also, singer-songwriters like Towns Van Zandt. John Denver? Oh yeah, taken off like a jet plane. Rolling Stone actually noticed a similar trend in the way people are listening to the catalogs of Bob Dylan and Taylor Swift. In both cases, their later, louder music people not feeling it as much. What they're going back to are the older acoustic songs by those artists. So for Bob Dylan, that means let me die in my footsteps. Taylor Swift, it means today was a fairy tale. You pick. Billie Eilish. That's a name you're probably familiar with. Uh, what about Takashi Murakami? Is that a name you know? Well, you should. He is a 58-year-old Japanese artist. He's known as much for his high art that's featured in museums of modern art as his low art, which is featured in shopping malls. He's worked with retailers. He's worked with designers. He's worked with a number of musicians and other artists like Billie Eilish. In fact, uh, he's the one who uh, directed her music video for You Should See Me in a Crown. You should see me in a crowd I'm gonna win this nothing to Watch me make them bow Well, now, Billie Eilish and, um... Uh, Murakami. They've got a new project in the works, and this time it's fashion-based. Uh, they're creating these clothes and products for the Japanese-based retailer Uniqlo, and it's going to be kind of that Billie Eilish style. It's going to be comfy, but cutting edge. So despite working on this fashion collaboration, doing all sorts of charity concerts, it seems like Billie Eilish is still finding time to curl up with that new pit bull puppy that she adopted. Because she just told actor Rain Wilson, they jumped on Instagram Live together, and she told him that she has watched his show, The Office, all the way through all the seasons 15 times. She just finished her 15th run through. Wait, 15 times just during quarantine? Or I, like in it, general? I think in her life. Yeah. I, I think she's maybe <laughs> gone a couple times around the horn in the last couple of months. But yeah, even Rain Wilson told her, Billy, love you as a super fan. Let's move on. Wow. Uh, and speaking of names you might be familiar with, people who you possibly grew up watching, uh, Matt Pinfield. If you're familiar with that name, he was the really enthusiastic VJ uh, host of MTV's 120 Minutes, uh, and, which was kind of like the more alternative side of MTV when they were starting to play a lot of pop music. Well, Matt Penfield is in the news again because uh, he's thanking friends and fans who, despite the whole COVID-19 pandemic, are still being quite generous and helping him uh, with this GoFundMe he has to rebuild his physical and mental health after being hit by a car in 2018. And that accident actually caused extremely serious injuries to Penfield, uh, to his head and to his leg. He almost lost his leg. And he said that this GoFundMe has been launched to support him as he enters recovery. So uh, he had a goal of $50,000. He's nearly there right now, uh, helped 
in large part by some of his famous friends like Perry Farrell of Jane's Addiction and Johnny Resnick of Goo Goo Dolls helping him out. And he said he had to swallow his foolish pride, as a lot of us do, to open up about his health struggles. And he thanked his supporters saying, you give me the feeling of a favorite new song. That controversial Travis McCrady concert happened yesterday, Monday, in Arkansas. And despite the very different kind of situation with everything getting sanitized, everybody social distancing, getting your temperature taken, fans who decided to go said they appreciated the opportunity to get back to a live concert setting. So as the country starts to open back up now, slowly but... Surely, for the moment, we know these kind of shows are going to be happening across the country. Maybe there are shows happening where you get sanitized and you go inside a venue. Maybe like here in Minnesota, there are shows happening outdoors where there's an outdoor stage and you drive in, you stay in your car. So we want to know, as these shows start to open back up, what do you think? Are you seeing shows like this happen in your community? Are you thinking about going? Do you not feel safe? Let us know what you think in the replies or the comments, and we'll circle back to this uh, topic later this week. That's today's music news. We will be back with another update, so like and follow us. You can be sure to catch up. And in the meantime, listen to The Current on your radio, on your smart speaker, on our app, and on our web stream. And click in the comments to let us know what music news stories are meaningful to you right now. To wrap things up today, bring you two names that you know. Snoop Dogg, Adina Mazel. They seem like they're worlds apart, but actually they have more in common than you think. Uh, they were both born in the same year, 1971. Uh, they were both 90s icons that became multimedia stars. And uh, they're both seeming to buck this trend of only listening to the acoustic guitar. So Snoop posted this video of himself in his car. Seemed like he was having a nice time uh, listening and enjoying Menzel's performance of Let It Go which seems a little out of character for Snoop Dogg, but he's a dad, he, that's kind of maybe his thing. Uh, Menzel responded with a clip of herself digging, drop it like it's hot.